Rebecca Brand, the Aaron Cook. I'm trying to get over my emotional issues. I want to kill, but I want to kill. I want to kill their offspring. I have returned to where I lost Goldie. I am seeing ducks nearby. I don't have Goldie anymore in the tank, for she had left me to have a good night out at Nippers, and she never came home. I see there are fish in this pond that have survived these ducks. In fact, a very large fish. And I think if Goldie found one of those big boys, she'd be really happy. I did not see those ducks eat my fish. No solid proof. It is true that she's missing. It is true that I'm very deeply distraught and I need to find her. I need some clarity about this. It is not good for questions. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> friendly. Maggie, come uh, on. Let's get out oh, of here. Maggie, but come now on. we have a dog. We had Maggie. Maggie was keeping me company. Things can surprise you in life like little doggies sneaking up on you to say hello. <coughs> I do like animals in spite of what you saw when I was shooting away at those ducks and geese and flying objects. Duck, did you eat my goldfish? I need to know this. No judgment here. I just want to know the truth. I need to come to some resolve. I need closure on this issue and I need you to tell me. Have you seen her? Do you know where she could be? She's very cute and she's very small. She's a pretty girl with pretty little fluffy fins. She wags hello and goodbye. She knows how to do that for she is friendly. Anybody, anybody, has anybody seen Goldie? I need to know. They're not talking to me. They're not telling me any information. They're just quacking and eating the free food they're getting. For they know I'm in charge of the food. There's no one to file a missing fish report. I have to play my cards right and be kind and friendly to these ducks to see what they have to say. I have learned that ducks have ESP. If they know you want something out of them, they will not talk. They'll just focus on eating their free Cheerios. I am seeking information. Goldie. A fish is seeking revenge upon the ducks. The fish knows. For all I know, Goldie was taken from him too. That might be her new boyfriend. He's a big boy. It is nice to see the animal kingdom living in one cesspool together. Even if there's a little rumpus now and then. You have a new girlfriend named Goldie. The turtle's here, the fish are here, the ducks are here. We're having a party. Maybe if they drink a lot, they'll tell me what I want to know. Mr. Turtle, have you seen my goldfish? And please tell me what I need to know. Do you know what happened to Goldie? Give me a bite if you've seen Goldie. I think he's seen Goldie. I think there is hope, for he took the Cheerio in his mouth when I asked him to give me a sign. Goldie, Goldie, Goldie. Oh my God, I got her. Goldie's back. Yay, we got Goldie. I may have been hasty and might call the judgment over those waterfowl. I may have been very emotional with my feelings of anger. And if you happen to have found the eggs, smash them too! But I wanted to shoot all those damn ducks. For they're very beautiful creatures. That goose tasted good though. Ducks, please forgive me for taking out my anger on you beautiful creatures when really you were to blame. I found Goldie. Goldie is back with me now. Goldie, you're back. It wasn't a duck's fault at all. Oh no! What was I doing? I guess we need to consider better our actions. Goldie, you need to tell me all that you've been up to. I bet she's got some good stories. Was he cute? Was he that big daddy I saw in that pond? <laughs> now they're telling me. Now the ducks are talking. Now they're bitching at me. Or I have found Goldie and they're telling me, <laughs> letting me know. It was never their fault. Okay, okay. It's a very joyous day when you find your lost fish. Goldie and I are now reunited. Now we can go make a recipe. We're just gonna make a turkey breast with sage butter with our iron. We will not be eating wild duck or wild goose today. We will not be plucking a duck. For the duck and the goldfish have become friends. The duck will not disturb my friend Goldie. And for that, I am certain. The duck and the goldfish are now friends. We have peace among all that lives on our planet. This is a friendly duck. The duck knows I need him no harm. You're very cute, you're my friend. I take back trying to kill you and all your ilk in the sky. I have big guilt over that. I do not believe in an eye and eye and a tooth for a tooth, yet I acted as if I did. Goldie's very happy with the duck near her. I think the duck and Goldie have made friends. You need to say goodbye to Goldie. I'm taking Goldie back home. I appreciate your kind care of my little goldfish friend. I will make you a Cheerio recipe. It is coming up soon. For this duck likes Cheerios. Oh, what's that? 
Oh no! The duck did try to eat you? You've had no sleep! She's had no sleep for days! What? Oh my gosh! What am I hearing? Well, I'm taking her home for the holidays. I'm gonna make you some roast turkey breast with my iron. Wag bye bye, Goldie. Say bye bye.